Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, this is the Metatron speaking and today we're going to talk about the new custom-made Metatron Katana that I've received, so let's get to that. Okay, so I received this very beautiful, beautiful katana as a gift from Swords of Northshire. So in this video we're going to have a look at it and one of the best things about this is that it's custom made to my specifications and the size, the ratio, the blade length and everything uh, it was made uh, out of two things. First and foremost my, my personal taste but also the suggestions and advice that I've received from my Katori Shintoryu Sensei. Here we've got a blade of 74 centimeters with a tsuka of 25 centimeters. It is clay tempered 1095 high carbon steel. Also the blade was traditionally made and is indeed folded steel. At first I was wondering if I should go for a 1060 steel because of its durability or for a 1095. Of course 1095 being harder. Well the smith from Swords of Northshire actually advised against 1060 steel because we decided to go for clay tempering and apparently clay tempering on 1060 steel makes the blade too fragile so now I will soon be making a video wearing my full samurai armor and using this sword so look forward to that This is going to be a review, but it's going to be a transparent and real review. So I'll tell you about the positive things and negative things. And of course, I am very grateful to Source of Nausea, and I think it's a great site and it's, it's a great company. And most importantly, they are incredibly kind. And they gave me this sword for free. They paid for the shipment and everything, and that's great. And they know that I will make a honest review. So let's talk about this sword and the pros and cons of this site. Okay, so the first thing is that, as you can see, there are loads of different kinds of swords that you can get at this site, Swords of Nausea. But you can also get custom-made katana. And of course, that will be my suggestion, because I think that it is nothing better than having the sword that you want, specifically. First and foremost, I chose black. Uh, because it suits my uh, Japanese armor made from Iron Mountain Armory, my samurai armor, and it also is good together uh, with, and it matches my Nodachi. So that was just my personal taste. Uh, of course, you can choose any color you want and any color combination of the Ito, and which is very, I mean, the wrapping is excellent. Okay, the handle feels really good. And I am going to use this for Katori Shintoryu Yaido practice. Okay, so this is a sort of sword that you can use. It's not sharp because I want to use it for. Uh, for practice of course so it's it's closer to what a yaito would be um, the overall weight is 1.4 kilograms so it's very light and the sword the blade has got two fullers again my personal choice to make it slightly uh, lighter because I want to use it for, for practice now talking about the length, um, the sword, and one thing that is very important is that you don't really have one standard length of blade and handle that works for everybody. I mean you can have like a, I don't know, an American practitioner of Kenjutsu who is two meters tall and, and you can have like a, I don't know, a European maybe, a practitioner of Kenjutsu or even a Japanese who is really short and you can't give them the same sword. Okay, so yes, uh, the Nodachi is the big sword, the Katana is smaller than a Nodachi, but still the overall length will depend and should be custom made according to the body type, the length of your arms and, and what or not and all these information. Now this is specifically custom made for me and I think that that is one of the great things that this site offers. So again, customization. But one thing that my sensei said, and this is like the positive and negative aspect, and one thing that my sensei said to me is make sure you get the most sober uh, design for the tsuka, for the tsuba and all the other components of the blade. And, and, and the sword itself and I think that personally I agree so on this site you will find they, they are perfectly capable of making a very sober sword that you can use for your Kenjutsu practice uh, and, and your personal collection as well but they also have a lot of sort of cinematographic takes so you can have like I don't know Tsuba with Bruce Lee or dragons and monsters and whatnot now of course uh, if you want to if you want to get it for your personal collection if you're a collector well, yeah, well, be my guest get 
whatever you like. But if you want something that sort of embodies the spirit of Japanese swordsmanship, you should avoid those completely. Okay? So don't go for the cinemat cinematographic ones. Go for a custom-made katana or one of the sober katanas that are already available on the site that is sober and it's it's sort of uh, it's more zen a little bit if 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 you will and and that's what I could suggest you to do in this case so following again the advice of your uh, sword instructor whether you're practicing kendo whether you're practicing yaido or whether you're practicing kenjutsu any style you like. Alright noble ones, well I hope that you enjoyed this video, if you did please remember thumbs up and if you're not yet a member of this community become a noble one, subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron and remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye.